Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be painting a sunset scene and this is inspired by um, the place that I am in because of the skies that I've been um, seeing these past few days, beautiful skies. So I took a photo of the sky uh, yesterday and I decided to, to paint it. I decided that um, it would be the subject of today's painting. So yeah, I really hope this goes uh, really good because I feel good today. Like I feel like I'm so inspired to paint right now. So yeah, let's begin now. Okay, the colors that we'll be using for today's painting are as follows. We have black, ultramarine blue, violet, permanent orange, lemon yellow, um, vermilion, permanent yellow deep, and titanium white. Titanium white. Okay, so yeah, let's begin now, guys. So, the, what they call this? Um, this will be a more of a silhouette type of painting, especially for the land area, because our main focus is the sky. So the land will be more of a silhouette because this is sunset, so it's always against the light. Well, from the view that I got yesterday, it's, it's, it was against the light, so our focus is on the sky. So let's begin now. First, I'm gonna underpaint my um, canvas paper. So I'm gonna use my orange, permanent orange. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of violet to it to make it a little uh, toned down. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread it across like this. Again, we're under painting. Okay, more orange here. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna add some yellow to the orange. Yellow, like that. And place it in the middle. Okay, like that. I'm gonna water it down and then I'm gonna add some um, white, white to it here. Okay, more white plus tiny bit of black, like this color. Again, um, I apologize for the weird angling of my camera because this is not my usual tripod. Okay. I'm gonna use my violet and ultramarine blue. Tiny bit of black, just tiny bit, just to tone it down. Mm, okay. And then I'm gonna make some hmm, like markings here. Okay, like that. And here. Okay, more violet. So I'm using my own photo for this painting. Right? Okay, I'm gonna get my orange. Oh, sorry, my vermilion, vermilion. 
here. And make some brush red um, circular brush brush strokes like that. Be careful not to over blend because you will create really dark colors and we don't want that. Here. Again vermilion, vermilion. Okay, violet. Okay, I'm gonna lighten it a bit. I'm gonna add some tiny bit of white to the violet and then tiny bit of black. Add a tiny bit of white and then black just to make it more grayish violet here and then I'm just gonna make some circular dabbing um, strokes again I'm using my own photo for as an inspiration for this tutorial actually this is my very first time to actually um, do a tutorial based on my own photo. I'm gonna water it down. I just felt so inspired, you know, when I saw this. I did not let it pass. You know, sometimes when you have the chance, you don't let it slip away. That's what I've learned. Okay. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of orange to the violet mixture. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna get more white here. Like that. And then here I'm just gonna glaze. I'm gonna get more of my violet plus ultramarine and I'm just gonna fix this part. Okay, more ultramarine. Violet. And then black and white here. Sorry guys, did you hear that? Like a kid, like crying. Okay, I'm gonna get my black and violet mixed with orange. Okay. I'm just gonna create some uh, low clouds. Here. 
back here and then some dark clouds here. Okay, I'm going to let it dry for a while. I'm going to get a new brush or a clean brush. And I'm just going to get my yellow, lemon yellow, pure lemon yellow. And I'm just going to make some bright areas here. I'm going to use my finger just to blend. This is not the actual color. Actually, it's brighter. It's brighter than that or brighter than this. But I'm just underpainting it. So again, lemon yellow. gonna get pure white just pure white okay pure white okay and I'm gonna highlight or make some bright areas here so it's just white and yellow by the way Again, the weather is so nice. The weather has been so nice since I came here. <laughs> I mean, it's not me, but... <laughs> the weather is just so nice. And I'm truly enjoying the, the view. So I'm going to add permanent yellow deep to my brush. And then go back to white. Okay, like that. Okay, then white here. Hmm. Okay, this is just the underpainting. We're gonna go and do the do the mm, what do you call this? The the land. So I'm gonna use my black because as I told you, the land is more of um silhouette, so it's so much easier for us to do this. So just get pure black. And we're going to do the detailing at the top. Oops. Wow. Wow. Did you see that? That's a huge blob of paint. Alright, it's 
just paint. So. Okay, so like there is a building here. As well, there is a tiny building. Go like that. Don't make it flat, by the way, the shape of this, because um, there are a lot of trees and plants and buildings, so don't make it like just straight like that. For now, because I'm gonna do the Ferris wheel later. Okay, now that my sky is fairly dry, let's go back. I'm gonna do the Ferris wheel this area, but later, okay, I'm gonna finish first my sky. the sky again let's redo the sky okay. I'm gonna get my vermilion plus violet vermilion and then I'm just blending using my fingers. Okay, and then um, you can actually use red if you want to. Here. Okay, I'm going to get my orange. Pure orange plus um plus yellow. It's like yellow orange. Here. Okay, orange. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my vermilion and I'm gonna darken some areas. Yeah. 
François. And then here. Okay. Then I'm going to mix it with violet and try to darken this side. Making some dark clouds. So I think I need some red, guys. I need some red. Okay. I need some red. And I'm just going to mix that with um, white. Oh, no. Orange. Let, okay. I just use some reds. And I think I have to apply it here like water down just to suggest some like redness <laughs> to the sky That's the underpainting. And then I'm going to get some white. Okay, I'm going to get some white and make this a little brighter. like yellow and white just to make things a little brighter okay I need to get my violet plus red okay violet tiny bit of white okay white like this color and I will uh, repaint this I'm gonna add some blue because I uh, like that Okay. 
Okay. Then I'm gonna get my orange mix. Oh, sorry, red with um tiny bit of white to make it more pinkish. Um, it's quite hard. Okay, so, but we're not gonna give up. There are a lot of colors in here. Okay, I'm gonna get my black mixed with violet and everything that is left on my brush. need to make some more yellow okay so get your yellow and white the the lines that separates the sky and the land just add some hints of yellow all right here I'm gonna make some I'm gonna extend the bright Areas. I'm gonna get my white and red. Okay, I'm gonna water it down. Um, this involves a lot of technique. And yeah, this involves a lot of technique, guys. Uh, it's not just about painting it's not just about painting what it is there but actually knowing how to do the colors so I'm glazing it with white and tiny bit of red and then here as well sense now <laughs> okay I'm gonna add some black and violet to my paintbrush and I'm gonna do it here okay I'm gonna add white So it's like violet, white, and red to make it like grayish violet.
gonna get more black okay more black and violet just to suggest some dark clouds here and there black and violet again okay black and violet <laughs> don't stop <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna glaze this part with some black. Okay, here, just glaze it. Okay, I'm gonna get my vermilion and I'm gonna glaze it again. Here, like that. Vermilion. And then just glaze like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my reds and violet and then tiny bit of white. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, like this color. Yes. And I'm gonna add some black to it. And I'm just going to glaze some parts, okay? I'm just going to glaze here, like that. And then we're going to go back to it later. Okay, get some violet and red. And we can go back. Okay, then we can get our vermilion, our orange. Just to add some more details. So you can tell that I'm using a lot of water, I'm using a lot of blending. Okay, and then let's fix this one because I I actually glaze it so much.
So I'm going to get my white. I'm going to get my white and just paint over it. gonna get my yellow okay so I'm just um, doing some highlighted or bright areas like those holes in the sky <laughs> Wash your brush out. So I'm gonna get my um, grays. So I'm gonna get white plus black. Okay, more black. All right, and then I'm just gonna hmm, make this more gray. make this more gray and create some like really cloud-like um, yeah cloud-like strokes like that <laughs> okay it's nice okay before we go back to the sky I'm gonna do some um, detailing here so I'm gonna get my black gonna create some line there okay this is the ferris wheel that I see from my window so you may or may not want to do this but I want to do this to make it more personal to me
because well I'm using my own photo by the way so It's more personal to me because I actually I'm actually here <laughs> okay and then from afar I'm gonna do some because the far view is the is uh, a bay so uh, there are a lot of boats and ships in there so i'm just gonna make some suggestion of, of big ships from afar small boats from afar and yeah okay like that okay wash your brush out And I'm gonna get my um, purple and black and then I'm gonna add some white to it and tiny bit of orange okay and then I'm just gonna okay I'm just gonna add more white and orange and I'm just gonna make some um like you know the sun is shining as well even if it's even if it's um sunset so there you go I'm gonna get my white and black to create gray. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna get my purple again. And I'm just gonna create more dark clouds. And then vermilion. Okay, I'm gonna add white to the vermilion. White and then yellow. Add more white here. Okay, 
white here, white. Here, some hints of orange. The weather is so nice. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna add yellow orange to some areas. To some areas, especially the lower the lower sky. Okay. And here. There are a lot of colors. Um, there are a lot of colors during sunset. It's not just yellow. It's not just red. It's like the colors of autumn, you know. Okay, I really think I found the title for my painting. I just said the title. <laughs> Okay, mm, this is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna get 
Mm, some red. Some more red. I feel like it's lacking red. Okay, I'm gonna get some red and then mix it with white to make it more pinkish, like this color. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of orange, tiny bit of yellow, and some purple. Yes, and then I'm just gonna apply some pinkish purplish here. Just gonna make some drops to suggest scattered pink clouds. All right, now here we go with the glazing part. Okay, wash your brush out or get a clean brush. And then I'm gonna get my permanent yellow deep. Okay, permanent yellow deep, just that. And then water. You can add a tiny bit of orange to it, but we're gonna glaze, guys. Okay. Add a tiny bit of orange, like this. And then I'm gonna start glazing. or vermilion and then you can also use that for glazing here just this side you know not the whole thing okay like that okay get a new brush oops some white and then purple and black and then make some gray gray areas here Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow plus white. Here. 
They're banging the door. I can tell. Like, they don't have to slam it, slam the door. And then slight yellow here. Oops, what's that? Like dried. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Wow. It's amazing. Hmm. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get my pure white. Pure white. I'm just gonna apply some pure white here. Just make it a little brighter. Here. Oh, so nice. Okay. Then we're almost done. Almost done. I'm gonna get more purple and gray. Okay. okay. Just to remove those hard lines that I did. Okay, I'm gonna get my red and orange. Just go back to some areas. Here. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Yeah, that's really good. So I'm just going to make some dark areas here. You know, I can do this whole day just trying to fix the clouds because the clouds, I mean clouds in general, they are uh, very dynamic, you know. Um, they cannot be uh, stationary. They're always moving. Get some white, this tiny bit, and highlight some areas here. Highlight some areas. Not everything though, just some areas. The weather is perfect. It's not too sunny. It's not too cloudy. This is what I want. Okay. Okay, more um, hints of white on the sky. Like that. Okay. All right. Yes. So nice. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Oops. Sorry, guys. You have to. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Pull this out. And got really, really stuck. Yes, I think we're good. Yes. So I told you, we can do this forever. Just get your vermilion. Okay, <laughs> can you believe it? This was the sky that I saw yesterday. It's perfect. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh wait, I haven't signed it. 
I haven't. <laughs> I haven't seen it, guy. I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna get my white and sign it here. Okay. Like that. <laughs> okay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I really enjoyed this one. <laughs> like, I hope you do too. But this is so personal to me. And I'm going to write the title on my Facebook post. Yes, I'm just so excited to show this to you guys, the final product. So thanks for watching. And I hope you do this one. Please tag me on your paintings. And guys, guys, <laughs> guys. Ooh, that looks nice.